This is a base I put together uh, to mount a Garmin Striker 4. It can be any any variation on the Striker 4 uh, that's been sold or is in sell, is selling now. Um, it clamps uh, here to uh, to the, uh, either the, either any of the seats on a Scout inflatable boat. It'll probably fit other boats, and if you're interested in using it on some other uh, boat, let me know and send me the seat dimensions, and we'll just talk about it. And if it doesn't fit directly, I'd probably probably be willing to modify it so it would. I 3D print these, and so it's relatively easy to run a custom one. I've mounted a uh, battery on this one for the striker. This battery is not included with the base. This is a uh, four cell 1816 uh, 50 battery. It's actually a replacement battery for a robot vacuum cleaner. Uh, it costs about 20 to 30 dollars, and uh, they'll power a Garmin for the Garmin 4 anyway for about um, about 12 or 13 hours. So quite a long time on this one nice little battery pack. And I changed the connectors out to something that that I wanted to use instead. It comes with all the hardware to mount the Garmin, and I'll show you how that works now. So this is the base for the um, for the Garmin that comes with it. The holes are pre-drilled. There's captive nuts underneath. And as I said, the screws are all provided. Okay, and then the, uh, the, Garm the striker just uh, slips right into its base and snaps into place. Oh, there we go. It can be rotated and tilted in any position because that's what that's what the base allows. Okay, and then you just uh, plug it into your battery. Of course, you don't have to use this battery. If you're using a lead-acid battery or something, it could be in a crate nearby or whatever. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the base for the Garmin, and I'll show you how it works on the boat itself. So this is the rear seat on the on the uh, scout, um, and so you just loosen this knob and uh, tighten it down, and there it is. Uh, so if you're sitting back here and steering the boat, you could have the binder pushed here over to the side and watch it while you were uh, driving the boat. If you want to move it, you just let it go of it. Now what we're going to do is come on up here to where I would normally actually use it. This is where I would use it, actually keep it most of the time, and I found it, that garment's actually big enough to see. And I would put it on turned around this way. And then aim the garment again like that, so I can sit it, see it when I'm standing up in the, in the uh, cockpit. I can see it when I'm in the back. So it's really, really pretty convenient. For the transducer, I've never liked the idea of sticking it over the side on a long arm where it can flop around. So I mounted the transducer on the standard Garmin trans, uh, transom mount back here on the back of the transom put so it's it's in the water when the boat's going fast. And of course you can reach over and pop it up out of the way for when you're beaching the boat or when you're launching the boat. I just run the cable right over the transom and then it goes, uh, is routed under the floor when I set the boat up to go fishing. And it comes out from the front of the floor there. And there's plenty of slack there to connect to the, um, connect it up here on the front seat to the, to the Garmin. And you can also, if you want to move it to the back, there's enough slack, you can just kind of tuck it here beside the pontoon and run it to, the, to any of the seats. So luckily the, the cable is long enough to do that. That's the system. It's worked out, uh, it's actually worked out really nice.